now don't think that when we talk about grace it's only about grace we can also have warning that we can have grace and warning to motivate us to turn away from sins that when people are you know they tell lies they lust they have gossip they steal they have this different kinds of problem but God can still um, you know when people repent when they repent then uh, they will turn away from their sins and some people they stay in the sin and they think it's not it's okay then there is warning from the Bible so we we want to motivate people to change with God's grace and warning so I'm when I talk about grace I don't mean that we only preach grace and no law we have both grace and law I use a balance okay grace should be the motivating factor and the law should be a reminder a warning but it should not be the main motivation for instance parents should not be telling the children if you don't obey I'll beat you then I won't give you food you know that should not be the main way that the parents teach the children the main way the parents teach the children is to show them how the parents care for them help the parents help them and treasure them you are precious and I'm happy to help you that will motivate the children to obey instead of saying if you don't obey I'll beat you that's but that's the way of many people they just use the law so we can have warning I'm not saying we don't have warning we can have warning so here uh, we have examples of warning okay now this is the outline now these are the four points I talked about earlier that nature and grace how we talk about God's nature and grace there are four points first is the nature of God that uh, let me use an example I use another example uh, use example of God uh, for instance the message is pray for wisdom pray for wisdom we ask for wisdom from God the nature of God is that he is a wise God and he has ability to give us wisdom and the grace of God he gives wisdom to those who love him you know when I love him more and more God gives me more and more teaching that I'm I'm really motivated to obey him and then I teach other people and the people change also they change also and then they are motivated to love God so I hope you too I hope you will transfer this grace to the people and then they will be motivated so we want to motivate people with grace that he gives us wisdom and grace of transference we can teach people and then they can also receive wisdom from us that we can train up wise Christians and then reward so when we live in wisdom and we train other people to have wisdom then God will reward us so these are four areas this is a guideline only you can think of other points other ways to to explain nature and grace here I have four points first is nature and his grace to us directly and his grace of transference that we can transfer this grace to other people and the reward when we follow him and obey him okay okay now and then how there are four parts okay I I have um, oh I didn't change this part okay um, okay the four parts are first remember how God has blessed us and then have a close relationship with him reading the Bible and praise God and examine our mistakes and sins and then change how why we have anger why we cannot forgive why we don't have wisdom and then the fourth point is when anything happens uh, pay attention to the guidance of the Holy Spirit when when we are angry when we don't have wisdom when we are frustrated how in the situation what we can do so in the message we can talk about these four points first is remember in the past how God has blessed us in that way for instance if we talk about joys uh, rejoice in the Lord so remember how God has given us joy and read the Bible and praise God to have more joy and examine the reasons why we don't have joy 
because we worry and what keeps us from having joy and then how to change ourselves repent and change our lives so that we can have joy again and then uh, when situation arise that we pay attention to the guidance of the Holy Spirit that we take care of our worry and our f frustration okay now here I, I give you more examples okay the how how to live out God's nature and obey God if for the theme of how to love one another okay the how remember the two main parts of the message is nature and grace and how so we want to tell people how whenever in any in any message any passage a, me a message we preach to people please make sure to have God's grace his nature and grace and also how so the how is remember how God has loved us so how to love one another the theme is how to love one another so remember how God has loved us and then read the Bible and praise God so we have more love and examine our mistakes and sins why we have not loved one another and how we can change and then in a situation arise that we cannot love one another we how do we do it when we uh, in a, when a situation arises that we have hatred for someone that we are unhappy about someone how we can take care of our anger inside that we calm ourselves by praying and also have compassion on these people because they have been hurt by people in the past therefore they hurt people therefore we we don't we have compassion on them and forgive them okay this is another example of the how how to overcome sins okay so remember how God has helped us overcome our sins and appreciate God's work so the how how God has helped us in the past that we have overcome our sins of lust or anger or frustration or unforgiveness how we have overcome in the past and read the Bible and praise God to have strength so that we can have strength to overcome sins and examine our mistakes and sins so um, why do some people always have lust because they always think about women uh, they they have no real uh, good friendship uh, with people and so they are lonely and they want to uh, solve their loneliness by lust or some people get used to watching pornography online now is this is very dangerous if people continue to watch pornography then his mind will be always filled with lust so examine our sins and then we we ask God to help us because we believe that sins will bring destruction so we want to stop watching the pornography and then we repent and know that if we continue to watch pornography it will destroy our whole life so we ask God to forgive us and ask God to have a holy life and then and then we keep that relationship when we have the motivation and then pay attention so this is actually the fourth point I want to say is uh, when there are sinful thoughts when a situation arises when there are sinful thoughts we can pray and choose to replace them with godly thoughts so when there, when whenever we have any sinful thoughts then we pray to God and help us and uh, pay attention to the guidance of the Holy Spirit when in when, when the situation arises when there is a problem that we find it hard to overcome the sins we say that it's destructive therefore I want to uh, pray and have strength and replace the sin with positive action okay um, for instance how the how to share the gospel uh, so what can we talk about when we want to motivate people to share the gospel so remember how God has used different ways to bring us to believe in Jesus so first we think about how we were brought to Christ by God how God used different people to bring me to Christ so I appreciate that thank God for using those people to bring me to Jesus I thank God at the right time myself that God used 
a teacher and some schoolmates to bring me to Jesus. All this happened, I thank God. So I, I'm saved. I want more people saved. And then read the Bible and praise God. I have the close relationship with God and then I want to save more people. And then examines our mistakes and sins. Then we examine why we don't share about share the gospel. Uh, many people they have fear, and many people they have they think that it's useless. Uh, they they don't want to be rejected by people. So these are the problem. Okay. Uh, so examine that. So when they have the fear, how do we overcome that? Now I have this experience many times. I want to do evangelism, and then I have fear, and then I keep praying. When I pray, keep praying, Lord, have mercy upon this person so that he'll be saved. The more I pray, the more I want to do evangelism to him. I want to tell him about Jesus. That I overcome that fear when I pray more. That God will make it irresistible for me to preach the gospel. And one time in a bus, I was thinking about preaching to the person next to me, but I got... I, I, I have a lot of fear and I, I pray to God. The more I pray, the more I have strength. And then I finally told him about Jesus. Now, he did not accept Jesus, but I have developed this courage that from then on, anywhere, uh, I would think about sharing the gospel to the people around me. So examine our mistakes and then how to change so I change by praying and, change and, and asking God to give me the, the strength. And then in, this, uh, in a situation when we have the problem, then what, we do, what do we do? Then we, ex we examine ourselves and then ask God to forgive us and give us the strength. And then now f for preaching the gospel also, another point here is learn different ways to share the gospel. And practice so uh, that we can learn different ways to share the gospel now I want to let me go back a little bit here okay here now I want to say that um, the title of each of these points uh, they don't remain the same for each theme for instance the, for the theme of overcoming our sins then when you write this point you say examples of people who are who continue to sin or who and who overcome the sins and then God's nature and grace you will say God's grace of helping us to overcome our sins God's nature and grace to help us overcome our sins and then why some people continue to sin so you change them title according to the theme so when it's the sin uh, overcome the sin then why people some people don't overcome the sins and the reminder and warning what happened is when people continue sin and then how how to overcome sin so for each title you have a different title here but basically it, you still have this examples negative and positive example and then God's nature and grace related to that. If it's, for instance, uh, to forgive people, then God's grace to help us to forgive people. Examples of people who don't forgive people and people who do forgive other people and why some people cannot forgive others and reminder and warning when we don't forgive and how to forgive. Okay.